Welcome to the signing of Ethan Crawford to Free at Hardeman University for soccer. <laughs> Ethan, how are you feeling today? I'm loving school. Understood. Understood. <laughs> Talk me, talk me through the process of making contact with Fried Hardeman uh, and how you got to this point. Um, mostly was my family. Um, kind of lucky, I think. Mostly, I got to know the coach a few years back. Been going to camps and all that ever since. What by going to those camps? What did you What did you learn either skills wise or interpersonally? that you didn't already have once you started those camps? How did they grow you? Um, I think I already knew soccer was about strategy and all that, or just being tactical about it, but over there it's a different level of tactical. And then also um, just the environment with the guys. It, it Like playing club kind of doesn't matter, but over there you kind of you have to be tight in it. Parents, uh, from your angle, how has Ethan developed uh, both as a player uh, and as a person in general over the last four years? Well, he started soccer very early in life and and uh, he loved soccer. He practiced in France for many years and uh, he's been persevering uh, to get better as much as he can as at any occasion, even here in the U.S. Um, well, Ethan's gone from uh, rec league to travel ball, and he did a lot of development with Eagle Express, and then he played freshman year here, and he stayed concentrating on his grades and mainly doing travel ball, and so uh, then he decided to do camps to better his skills and hopefully get on with the university. How far away is Reed Hardman? Two hours and a half. It's a ways out, right? What's it going to feel like? to have Ethan that far away uh, to begin his adult life? Well, we already have three kids there, so I think uh, we're starting to get used to it pretty much, <laughs> to be honest with you. What are you, what are you gonna miss most about having Ethan around? Um, probably just when he comes in from, you know, he's very cheerful and um, his desire to keep improving himself in the sport. And um, it'll be interesting to see how he does on his own. But I think two and a half hours is perfect because they can still come home easily as opposed to another child. We had six hours away. And it's good for them to be able to come home every three weekends to check in with the parents and then go back to cam pa campus. And then by year two or three, then they're almost on their own fully. I used to play uh, chess with Ethan. I taught him chess many years ago, and uh, that's definitely one thing that I'm going to miss uh, doing with him. Is he good? Yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, yeah, I think he's getting better over time, definitely. He almost won the game. <laughs> Coach Janice, you, uh, you, we emailed back and forth uh, mm -hmm. for kind of an idea of, uh, of of the kid that we were going to be talking to today. Um, I'm really glad you're here. So instead of saying any of that from my end, if you could relay kind of what we talked about, about what attracted you to Ethan, what, what makes Ethan right for Fried Hardman's boys soccer team? Yeah, something that's really important for us is, obviously we want players that can play and can compete at the high of a level, but even more so for our university, at Fried Hardman University, it is very important to have a good culture for the team, to have a team that reflects the uh, the goals of the university and what we want. We want, like a, I guess a phrase that I saw the other day for Freed Hardman was uh, we use reason and logic to raise Christian leaders. And that's what we want. And that's something we can see for Ethan as we develop him over his time at Freed. And he's someone that uh, just thinking about it, like, just by coincidence, I worked at a summer camp that he went to, not involved with Freed Hardman, but I got to know him and his family, and I really uh, love them and care for them, and mostly siblings. I haven't met the parents yet, but um, 
other than today, but uh, I really enjoy the character of him and his family, and I know he's coming from a good place. So, how are you hoping to grow Ethan over the next few years? Um, like we talked, like he was saying earlier, tactically, it's a big deal. The transition from um, high school to college is a big jump, and a lot of people don't realize that until they get into college. And so, as if as he grows as a player, he will have to know where he's at, know what he's doing all the time, and that's something we can work on. But and that's something that comes with time. And as you slowly build into practice and I work in, you know, everybody can build up to the speed of play and everybody can work. So, yeah. You, you spoke to, to Ethan's character, and so I'm going to transition into talking with Philip and Christian, who are uh, youth ministers who have experience with Ethan. What, what's your experience with Ethan that makes that connection between, you know, the life that, that he's lived with his parents to the point that a coach who doesn't know him that much has experience, but not the same as parents. What's that bridge in between? What do you, what, what's your experience with Ethan that bridges that gap? You first or me? <laughs> I'll go ahead. Um, one for Ethan, uh, he's just fun to be around. Um, you know, he brings some excitement. You know, as youth ministers, we get to see um, a lot of people in church settings, um, but we also get to go on camps and things. And, and knowing Ethan from the time that I think he was in the sixth grade, maybe, um, and just seeing how he's grown up and the way that he's changed and developed, he's become smarter um, and just more um, more fun to be around as he as he's grown. He's been able to develop his personality and get to see um, the way that he interacts with other people. I think that he's going to do great um, in this next phase. Well said. I I would just add that it's neat watching kids grow, see them grow spiritually, see them grow up physically, and the talents that Ethan has. It's exciting to see when people get opportunities because of the, the hard work they've put in. And so we're proud of them, excited for them. This is the easy part. Are you ready to sign? Yeah. Please do. This concludes the signing of Ethan Crawford to Freed Hardeman University for soccer.